The Philippines is located directly along the Pacific Ring of Fire. This region contains the most volcanically active zones on the entire planet. Here, tectonic plates collide, slide, and dive beneath one another constantly. These underground movements feed magma chambers that pressure the Earth's surface. Over time, that pressure must escape, often violently and without mercy. The Philippines has more than 24 active volcanoes. Dozens more are classified as potentially active or dangerous under specific conditions. Millions of Filipinos live within official danger zones every single year. Volcanic eruptions can happen faster than most natural disasters. Some eruptions give days of warning, while others give minutes. Ash clouds can shut down airports across entire regions instantly. Pyroclastic flows can travel faster than vehicles on open highways. Lahars can bury towns weeks or months after eruptions have ended. Today, we count down the 10 Philippine volcanoes most likely to erupt again. This ranking considers eruption history, monitoring data, and current volcanic unrest. We will explore what could happen if these volcanoes awaken once more. Stay with us until the end, because the number one volcano on this list poses a threat few Filipinos truly understand. Number 10. Mount Arayat, the quiet giant of central Luzon. Mount Arayat rises alone from the flat agricultural plains of Pampanga. From a distance, it appears peaceful, forested, and completely inactive. There are no dramatic craters, no lava flows, and no recent eruptions on record. However, scientific classification tells a much more concerning story. Mount Arayat is considered potentially active by FIVOL CS. Geothermal features, altered rocks, and fault systems exist beneath its slopes. Although no historic eruption was recorded, geological evidence exists. That evidence suggests volcanic activity occurred within the last 10,000 years. In volcano science, 10,000 years is considered relatively recent. This means Mount Arayat cannot be dismissed as permanently inactive. Millions of residents live nearby, in Pampanga, Bulacan, and surrounding provinces. These communities have little experience with volcanic evacuation procedures. A likely eruption scenario would involve sudden phreatic explosions. These steam-driven eruptions can occur without magma reaching the surface. Ash, rocks, and toxic gases could be ejected without clear warning signals. Nearby rivers could transport debris toward low-lying agricultural communities. Mount Arayat reminds us that silence does not always equal safety. Number 9. Mount Izarog, the sleeping volcano of Camarines Sur. Mount Izarog towers over Camarines Sur, dominating the landscape near Naga City. Its slopes are covered with rainforests, cloud layers, and biodiversity hotspots. For generations, locals believed Mount Izarog was long dormant and harmless. Science, however, paints a far more complicated picture. Mount Izarog contains an active hydrothermal system beneath its surface. Hot springs, fumaroles, and chemically altered rocks are present throughout the area. These features indicate that heat and magma still exist below ground. Although the last eruption occurred thousands of years ago, risk remains. Volcanologists classify Izarog as potentially active rather than extinct. This classification carries serious implications for nearby population centers. Naga City alone has more than 200,000 residents. Many barangays sit along rivers that originate on Isarog's slopes. A likely eruption scenario would involve sudden steam-driven explosions. Ash would fall across Camarines sewer, contaminating water supplies. Heavy rainfall could transform loose ash into fast-moving lahars. These lahars would flow downhill toward farms, roads, and residential areas. Mount Isarog demonstrates how time can hide danger beneath beauty. Number 8. Mount Rogging also called Mount Piapayungan, is in central Mindanao. It is one of the largest volcanoes in the southern Philippines. Despite its size, Mount Ragang remains poorly monitored by scientific instruments. Its remote location limits real-time data collection and surveillance. Mount Ragang has confirmed historic eruptions during the early 20th century. These eruptions officially classify it as an active volcano. Steep slopes and massive volume make Ragang capable of violent explosions. Ashfall could affect large portions of Lanao del Sur and Cotabato. Nearby communities often lack quick evacuation routes or warning systems. Communication challenges increase the risk during sudden volcanic unrest. 
A worst case scenario includes explosive eruptions and pyroclastic flows. These flows could devastate settlements located along the volcano's flanks. The greatest threat posed by Mount Ragang is unpredictability. Limited monitoring increases the risk of delayed evacuations. Mount Ragang proves that danger often grows where attention is lacking. Number seven, Babuyan Claro, the Northern Fire Island. Babuyan Claro is located in the remote Babuyan Islands, north of Luzon. This island volcano is one of several active systems in the region. Its last confirmed eruption occurred during the 19th century. However, seismic activity and geothermal features remain present today. Babuyan Claro's eruptions tend to be explosive rather than effusive. Ash plumes can rise high into the atmosphere quickly. Even moderate eruptions could disrupt international aviation routes. Flights between the Philippines, Taiwan, and Japan could be affected. Local communities face extreme isolation during volcanic unrest. Rough seas can prevent evacuation or emergency response for days. A future eruption would severely test disaster preparedness on these remote islands. Babuyan Claro highlights the dangers faced by isolated volcanic communities. Number six, Mount Matutum, the beautiful but deadly stratovolcano. Mount Matutum rises sharply above South Cotabato with near perfect symmetry. Its scenic appearance makes it a popular landmark and cultural symbol. Despite its beauty, Mount Matutum is classified as potentially active. Fumarolic activity and sulfur emissions have been recorded on its slopes. These emissions suggest magma movement beneath the volcano. Past unrest events indicate the system remains capable of eruption. A likely scenario involves phreatomagmatic explosions. These occur when magma interacts violently with groundwater. Ashfall could damage banana and pineapple plantations nearby. These farms support thousands of livelihoods across the region. Water sources could become contaminated with acidic volcanic material. Air quality would deteriorate rapidly across surrounding municipalities. Mount Matutum shows how natural beauty can mask severe geological danger. Mount Hibok Hibok stands on the small island province of Camiguin. It is one of the most dangerous volcanoes in Philippine history. Between 1948 and 1953, multiple eruptions occurred. Those eruptions killed more than 3,000 people. Entire communities were buried by pyroclastic flows and lahars. Tens of thousands were displaced across the island. Today, Mount Hibok Hibok remains classified as active. The island's small size leaves very limited evacuation options. During a major eruption, no part of Camaguin is completely safe. Pyroclastic flows could reach coastlines within minutes. Ashfall could blanket the entire island simultaneously. Tourism has returned, but volcanic risk remains constant. Mount Hibok Hibok warns against forgetting painful lessons from history. Number four, Bulusan Volcano, the Yuan Predictable Blaster. This volcano is located in Sorsogon Province in southern Luzon. It is notorious for sudden and unpredictable phreatic eruptions. These eruptions often occur without magma reaching the surface because they are driven by pressure from superheated groundwater. Bulusan has erupted multiple times over the past several decades. Each eruption forced evacuations and disrupted daily life. Ash clouds from Bulusan frequently ground flights and close schools. Nearby rivers can carry volcanic debris toward coastal areas. A worst case scenario involves lava dome growth and collapse. Such collapse could generate deadly pyroclastic density currents. Bulusan's greatest danger lies in its lack of clear warning signs. Speed, not size, makes Bulusan especially deadly. Number three, Canlan Volcano is the Visayas' most active threat. It dominates Negros Island in the central Philippines. Canlan is one of the most active volcanoes in the country. It has erupted repeatedly in recent years with ash explosions and gas emissions. Alert levels around Canlan frequently change because of unrest. Communities remain on constant standby for evacuation orders. Can lay on steep slopes increase the risk of lahars during heavy rainfall. Ash mixed with rain can quickly become destructive mud flows. These lahars threaten sugar plantations in rural communities, and food supply chains across the Visayas could be disrupted. Canlon demonstrates how volcanic hazards extend beyond eruption sites. Number two, Taal Volcano, the caldera near the capital. Taal Volcano is one of the most complex volcanoes on Earth. It is located just 16 kilometers south of Metro Manila. 
Tal sits inside a massive caldera filled with a volcanic lake. Millions of people live within its extended danger zone. The 2012 eruption shocked the entire country. Ashfall reached Metro Manila and grounded international flights. Tayal eruptions are often phratomagmatic and extremely violent. Base surges, volcanic lightning, and toxic gases are common hazards. A larger eruption could collapse roofs across nearby provinces. Water systems could be contaminated with sulfur and ash. Economic activity across Luzon could grind to a halt. Ta'al represents a national scale volcanic threat. Number one, Mayon Volcano, the most active and relentless. Mayon Volcano stands in Al Bay with near perfect symmetry. More than 50 eruptions have been recorded throughout history. Mayon produces lava flows, ash plumes, and pyroclastic flows. Communities continue living within danger zones because of the fertile soil. Livelihoods depend on land shaped by volcanic activity. A major eruption could send pyroclastic flows down all flanks. Escape routes would be extremely limited in some areas. Lahars could continue destroying villages long after eruptions end. Mayon symbolizes constant coexistence with volcanic danger. We unfolded 10 volcanoes. 10 different threats lie beneath the Philippine landscape. The Philippines is shaped by fire beneath its islands. Volcanoes bring fertile soil, beauty, and natural resources. They also bring destruction, displacement, and sudden loss. Millions of Filipinos live within volcanic danger zones today. According to Fival CS, preparedness saves lives during eruptions. Monitoring systems provide warnings, but public awareness remains essential. Volcanoes cannot be controlled or stopped by human effort. However, their impact can be reduced through preparation and education. Early evacuation saves families and entire communities. Understanding risk prevents panic and misinformation. The question is not whether these volcanoes will erupt again. The question is whether we will be ready when they do. If this documentary helped you understand the dangers beneath our islands, share it. Help others learn about volcanic risks facing the Philippines today. Subscribe to this channel for more in-depth investigations. Together, awareness becomes our strongest line of defense.